Hello everyone, this is Army Tricks from Game Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really nice YouTube One Channel logo or channel banner. So first of all, you I, you'll need to have a photo editing program similar to Photoshop. I am using Photoshop, but something like Paint.net is quite similar and will do. So first, you'll need to create a new file. And it has to be 2120 by 1193 in pixels. So that is perfect. Leave everything else as it is if you're on Photoshop. It shouldn't appear if you're using something less complicated. And hit OK. Now, you want to use a template to, which will help you create your, your channel banner. So I found one on the internet here. This is a very nice template. And if you find a template like this, I'll leave this particular one in the description. Just copy it and paste it. Or you can just save it and save it on your um, desktop. Sorry about that. Now you are gonna have a full large background. So I, re I recommend you color code this area just to know what size you're gonna use. So this is your logo safe area, so keep that in mind as you do this. You want to create a new layer, and this is where you're going to do your editing in these next layers we're going to make. So first, make a square, make it any colour you want. Your, this is going to be your main page background. So I'm going to use a nice crimson red. And just fill the first minimum area box with that particular red. Now pick a different colour, something like, I don't know, um, yellow, whatever you like, and fill the next area, which is the desktop max area, with that yellow colour, and the other side as well with yellow, like this. You don't have to do this, but it's an optional step. And once we finish doing this, you can just fill the whole thing with crimson. But for now, we're going to do this, which will be our helpful guide in doing this. Now, you can ignore this large TV area if you want to, or you can move down a bit and create a new layer, which you can move just above your template. And there you can create a large square, whatever color you want. I'm just going to use a random blue and just fill the whole thing with that blue. Okay, once you've done that, you've got your guide ready, your own little guide. Now you're just going to start making your channel banner. Now I'm going to make be making it one for my channel which I'm not going to replace because my one already is pretty good. So if you want to go into text and create a small text box. So I'm sorry, should be in a new layer. It should actually be in a new layer, like so. Now uh, you just want to use your text box and create a main title box which should span from the top of your area to both edges like that. And here you're going to type in your channel name. So in my case that's Game Tech. From up here you can click what, lo what kind of um, font you want it to be, so and size. So I'm going to make this a little bigger because in my case it's, it just seems a little small. So I'm going to make this something like 100, maybe a little bigger than that. 130, that's perfect, great. Now I'm going to go to my selection tool and make this text look even nicer. Go into blending options, you'll find this in most better editing programs, some of the free ones as well. And you want to keep an outline, this makes your text stand out a bit. And you also may want a drop shadow. This drop shadow will make your text look even nicer. So you want to put spread down to full. And your size 
you can vary, but I tend to keep that the same. It's the distance that you should change a little. Now that looks like some great TF2 text. Oh, whoops. I shouldn't have done that. I want to keep that. So that stroke, drop shadow, spread, fall, distance up a bit. That's great. Okay, that looks very nice. Don't forget to save it like I did. So you can move it around and try and center it as much as you can. So that's actually centered there at that point. Move it down a little, otherwise it's gonna look a little awkward. There we go. Now you want a subtitle, whatever your subtitle is, you can add it as you wish. So you want to create another new layer, add a short, simple subtitle. You want it to be short and memorable, remember that. So ours is going to be gaming to the max. Oops. And we'll just make the text a little smaller, 72, and say gaming to the max. And just make your text box bigger or smaller according to how long your text is. This one you don't want to add anything to it because your main title is the main thing. So just center that like so. That will look nice. Okay, once you've done that, you want to add a few pictures, decorate it however you like, so you could basically add anything of any game you do. If you do Minecraft, you could add a Minecraft block. If you do TF2, you can add a TF2 rocket launcher, a soldier, a scout, whatever you like. Underneath this, you may want to make some references to channel links, um, partner links, what you do so something like that so if you create a new layer there and add some more text down here this part will range all the way across about that should look good set that a little smaller than before and here you can type something like tutorials and put a vertical line in gaming Gaming, vertical line, um, yeah, films, or whatever else you want in there. So you want to keep that all the same text. So we want to find Myriad Pro. So that part's going to be tutorials. Doesn't matter if it's not the same kind of text, just try and make it look as nice as possible. Something like that. Once you've done that, press your editing tool, bring it down a bit, try and center it again. Like so best as you can now you're almost done now you can just add a few pictures here and there maybe add a large background image in there to make it look very nice but before you do that you want to set your thing back to normal and to do that you want to go back to where you put your yellow rectangles delete that particular layer delete the other yellow layer and now you create a layer before your red layer. Grab your square and use your color picker to select the particular red we have over here. That particular red. Then once you've done that, draw a large square over your whole thing and it should look normal again, like that. Now you have a perfectly matching title 
add your pictures right here and right here and you're done you have a fully ready channel banner ready to upload to YouTube before you do that you need to save it so you need to go to save as and you want to save it as a JPEG file and just save it like so you can replace another file if you already have a preview version installed so your quality you want the max quality you can get and hit OK done unfortunately I had to replace another file so I couldn't save that but if you rename it it will work perfectly and you're done thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this and you had some good experience in uploading channel banners thanks for watching see ya